Okay, in video three of this section, we're going to be talking about managing the items in your backlog. So in this video, we're going to learn how to create items, how to prioritize items, how to assign items into epics and versions, how to create and use quick filters in your board view, and then separating work that's fully refined so that we can say that it's ready for a sprint. Okay, so let's go back to our backlog. And you can see here we've got our items, right? Now, it's really easy to prioritize items in Jira. All we have to do is basically drag and drop, okay? So we can move these items around in the way that we want to. And that makes it really easy for your product owner to just move all this stuff around exactly how they want it, all right? We made an epic previously, and you see we've got this test epic. Now this test epic, we want to assign some items to it. And maybe it's all of these newest items, okay? So let's take this story. We can drag it over into this epic, and you can see once we do that, we'll get a message here, but you can also see now we have an issue assigned in this epic. So let's go ahead and take the bug and the task, and we can move those items over as well. And now we have three items in our epic, and I did that selection of multiple items by just holding down the shift key. Okay? Next, we've got what's called versions, and you can see here this would be an increment of value that we would release to either our customers or to our market or something like that. A lot of times we'll use versions as a way to track the amount of work that's been completed in a month or in a week or in a sprint or something like that so that we can go back and report on that. A version is a little bit different than an epic, right? So you may have multiple epics inside of a version or you may just have one epic inside of a version, right? You can see here we also have links to issues without versions and issues without epics. So these two may be related, but they're also not necessarily hierarchically connected. A version is a way for us to group works together. And you can see if we take a look at releases, ultimately a version is something that we're going to release. Okay. And you can see here we have version two and version three that have been unreleased. We can select these items and we can take a look at the items that appear underneath them. These are all default items that were in Jira when we created this project. Okay. You can see this gives you a nice view, though, of things that are in the version, how much has been done, how much is in progress. And once this is all done, we can hit the release button and we can actually release this version. And that's what makes versions so powerful. We can also use epics and versions for forecasting, which we'll look at in a later section of this course. OK, so going back to our backlog again, you can see it's fairly easy to take these items and assign them to a version as well. And you can see that we've got some visual confirmation these are in an epic. If we drag them over and put them inside of a version, we're going to get that too. So you're going to see this is now contained inside of version 2. And we can take these other two and do the same thing. See, now they're in version 2, and they're also part of this epic. Next, we want to take a look at the quick filters, okay? This can be really powerful, especially if you're working together as a group with your team and you've got to be looking at this backlog and moving quickly through that. Now Jira gives us some default quick filters. So they give us only my issues and items that are recently updated. They also give us assignee, which is also helpful, right? But let's say we want to take a look at anything that would be part of that component that we assigned earlier, right? We had this component that was a grouping of items that we put together, which was called my test component, okay? So why don't we go back to our backlog. And then we're going to go up here and we're going to go to board settings. And we'll take a look at a lot of these board settings later in the next video. But right now we're going to go under quick filters and we can call this test component. Okay. And our query that we'll use for this, our JQL is going to be component equals my test component. Right. And we can put a description here if we'd like to. But we'll hit add, and now we've created a quick filter called test component. So if we come back to the backlog again, you can see we have a test component query. So if I select this, only the items that have that component assigned to them should appear here. And as you will remember, we assigned that component, this my test component, to the newest story when we were in the edit window for that story. All right? I think the next thing we want to take a look at is create, creation of a ready sprint. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So we're going to clear all the filters so we can see all of our items. 
Now, you see this button here where we can create a sprint. We're not going to run it right now, but we can create a sprint and we can basically use that as a container to help us when we have work in our backlog that's ready to go. We would call that refined. So we've got work here that's refined. That means it meets our definition of ready by the team for coming into a sprint. It means it's going to have acceptance criteria. It means it's going to be sized with some sort of a value. And it's going to have all the information required for us to, to fix that thing or to build that thing. So we can take these three newest items and we can drag them straight up into here and place them into a sprint. We can call this sprint, we'll call this ready. And then what we can do is we can use that fully refined work, not only in our next sprint, but as the team increases in velocity, we can actually be pulling stories from this section into our sprint so that the team has work as they accelerate. All right, and we'll look more at that as we get into running a sprint. In the next video, we're going to talk about creating and configuring the board. All right, so we've got our backlog ready to go. We've got issues created. They've been assigned to epics and versions. We know what all the attributes are underneath those things. Next, we're going to take a look at the board, which is what we're going to use when we're running a sprint. So we're preparing to run our first sprint.